Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to another video of my channel. I am Kishaloy. Hope you all are doing. So I hope from the thumbnail you get to know about the topic of today's video. In this video, we'll talk about mock test for gate examination. So November is already started, and those who are preparing for gate, they should start appearing in the full day mock test. Now regarding mock test, many people have many opinions, many confusions. Uh, you know, many toppers uh, I have seen that they have stated that mock tests are not that important. Uh, because the question that you will get from the mock test that are typically set by different coaching institution and the final gate paper will be set by IIT professor. So the, you know, there is a huge gap between the quality of mock test paper and the final uh, gate paper. So that's why I've seen many uh, toppers. Uh, they used to say that even if you give very few mock tests, that's sufficient. And also people have this confusion that, you know, uh, when they should appear for the mock test, how they should, you know, analyze the mock test paper, what are the different mistakes that they can avoid in the mock test so that they can improve their score. So there are a lot of questions I have received for last uh, three to four years from different generations of asp aspirants regarding mock test. So in this video, I, I explain in detail that why you should appear for mock test, how many mock tests ideally you should give uh, for having a good preparation and how you should analyze your mock test and what are the typical common mistakes that you must avoid during appearing for the mock test. So that will be the, you know, content of this video. So if you want to know detail about it, please stay in this video till end. And before starting the video, I always say, if you have liked this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you are new to this particular channel, please subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon so that you get all the notification on time. Without further delay, let's get started into today's video. Now let's first discuss about that why mock test or appearing for the full length mock test is very important for your gate preparation. So as I've already mentioned in my previous videos that how you are preparing for your gate examination that plays 70% in the gate success. But the rest 30% depends on how well you have managed your final day. That means on the final day of gate examination how well you have deal with the exam pressure, how well you have handled the time so everything plays 30% of your gate success. And I have seen many people who have done really well in their preparation. They, they, they can solve any previous year question paper. Even, you know, uh, you, can, you, can, you can ask them any question. Their in-depth understanding of the subject is really well. But they couldn't do well in the final gate exam because they can't manage the fall pressure well or they can't manage the time well on the final day. So here comes the importance of mock test. So when you will appear for the mock test, you will learn how to manage the time, how to manage those 180 minutes or three hours of time effectively, uh, how to how to manage pressure. So suppose too many tough questions is coming in a mock test, then you will learn that how to keep yourself calm and keep on solving the question that you can solve and how to optimize the score. On the other hand, for example, a lot of easy questions are coming. In that setup, you should reduce the mistakes because, you know, if too many easy questions are coming, then most of the students will be able to solve it. And they are if you, if you do or if you commit a silly mistake, that will cost you huge. So this kind of, you know, situations or environment you will be learning. And that is kind of a learning experience that will be helpful for you in the final exam. No questions will be repeating in the final exam from the mock test because you know the final year, uh, final gate question will be set by IIT professors and the mock test papers are typically set by coaching institutions. So you can't expect that these mock test questions will be repeated in the final exam. But what will repeat is this kind of environment. Huh? Too many tough questions coming, how to you know react with that. Too many easy questions are coming, how to react with that. If a question is standard, average, uh, you know, difficulty level, then how to react. So these kind of uh, you know, training you will be getting via appearing to the full length mock test. So that is one of the biggest, uh, you know, utility of appearing for the full length mock test that you will learn how to manage time and how to deal with exam pressure. The second thing is that via appearing to this mock test, you will, you will, you will get to know which are your strong areas and which are your weak areas. Because when you will analyze the mock test, you will, you will understand that there are a few part of the gate syllabus where you are very strong at. And there are a few areas probably you are not that good at. So that gives you an opportunity to, you know, uh, revise those subjects and 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 uh, try to try to read again and try to make it stronger. The next advantage of mock test is that you will get to know about different mistakes that you commit during the uh, during giving a full length mock test. 
and this gives you an opportunity to rectify those mistakes there can be few conceptual mistakes few silly mistakes but any kind of mistakes you know it hurts a lot in the final gate score so mock test give you an opportunity to identify your mistakes and rectify those mistakes and last but not the least the final advantage of appearing to a mock test is that it gives you an opportunity to revise all the subjects because you know when you appear for the mock test uh, the questions are coming randomly from from anywhere from of your gate syllabus so it's give you give you an opportunity to you know think about all the subjects and it's a, it's a opportunity for you to revise all the subjects you will think about it and you will try to uh, remember what was the concept and this is a great way to revise whole, all the subjects and even after the mock test if you feel that some part of uh, the syllabus you are not comfortable with you can go back and revise that part so it's a great way to understand what are your strong area what are the weak areas and it gives you a great opportunity to revise the whole syllabus next we'll talk about that how you should approach these different full length mock test and how you should analyze them now how you will approach this mock test so whenever you'll be appearing for the mock test find out full 3 hours and appear for the mock test don't you know start a mock test and then in the mid you know just stop it and go for some other work and then come back and then give the rest of the mock test don't do like this i know most of the coaching institution give you this liberty that you can stop the exam in between and resume from from it uh, some some later later time but it's not a healthy healthy habit you know you should consider this mock test as your final exam and most importantly that try to give this mock test in one of the gate slot time but try to give it between 9 to 12 or 2 to 5 because these are the two slots typically the gate exam is been conducted in, in these two 3 uh, hour slot so try to find one of the slots either 9 to 12 or 2 uh, to 5 and give a full mock test like this that you will be starting the test on 2 o'clock for example and finishing in the 5 o'clock so this is how you should approach the mock test like it's your final exam and you should give it with your full focus uh so like the way you will be giving your final final gate exam now you know after the exam is over don't forget to analyze the exam this is really really important and i'm saying it from my personal experiences that if you do, if you if you don't analyze the exam there is no point of giving the exam because by analyzing the exam you actually understand where you are lying for example there are a lot of str strong areas that you have that you identify by analyzing the mock test that these are the areas i am very strong at because you are doing really well on those areas and there will be some other areas where you are not that good at those are your weak areas that means you know those areas you have to work on maybe you have to go back study those areas again solve few more question from different sources and try to improve those areas so that in the next exam when the question will come from those areas you will try to answer them and try to improve your score and also one more thing as i was mentioning before that um uh, while analyzing the paper uh, because you already know you know whether the paper was tough or easy that idea you'll be having after you give the exam uh, this give you a sense of that how well you have performed in that exam and if you have if you have done a lot of mistakes uh, you know it can be silly mistakes it can be conceptual mistakes maybe something you don't know maybe some calculation you have done mistake so this sort of information you will be having and these sort of mistakes you have to rectify uh because as i already mentioned you know mistakes hurts a lot in the final gate score or final gate rank in the final exam if you if you repeat these mistakes uh it will hurt you a lot so that's why during these mock test when you analyze it try to find out whatever mistakes that you are doing maybe you can write it down in the diary and you can check whether you are you know repeating these mistakes again in the next exam or maybe in the previous exam you have done some mistakes whether you have repeated them in the in this exam so this sort of analysis you have to keep on doing and you have to keep track of uh, your mistakes your strong areas and your weak areas next one question many of the aspirants is to ask me that how many mock tests they should appear for you know there is no standard answer of it you know many people have many opinion about it but i personally feel that at least 15 mock test you should appear for uh, because you know you have to cover different patterns of question you, if you appear for 15 mock test you know at least you will see few few easy sets few difficult set few average set or few standard set and that that will give you a rough idea about that how you have to you know deal with these different patterns or different uh, different sorts of question paper and how you have to uh, you know react to the different uh, situations or environments so that's why i think 15 mock test at least you should give but if you ask me i have appeared for 20 mock test 
and I personally feel you shouldn't give more than 25 mock tests. 25 will be the upper bound, 15 is the lower bound and whenever you'll be appearing for the mock test, this 15 or 20 whatever mock test you'll be appearing for, don't give the mock test from a single coaching institution. Try to give the mock test from different coaching institutions because if you appear for a single coaching institution mock test, you will find that after 3 or 4 mock tests, all the questions are almost similar. So that won't give you a lot of variances in the in the question paper. So that's why I suggest that take the co you know, co question or, or mock test from different coaching institutions, like two, three coaching institutions and try to appear them. Now let's talk about what are the common mistakes aspirants do during appearing for the these different mock tests. The number one is that they forget to analyze the mock test. And this is really, really harmful. As I already mentioned that if you're appearing for the mock test and not analyzing it, there is no use of appearing for the mock test. And this is, I am saying from my personal experiences. You know, when I appeared at uh, the gate exam in 2016, when I was preparing for 2016, I did the same mistakes. You know, I didn't analyze the mock test. What I used to do is I used to appear for the mock test. If I get a good score, I used to be happy. Uh, if I am not getting a good score in the immediately next day, I appear again for the mock test and I try to do better there. And this is how I did it. I, I have given a lot of mock tests, but I haven't analyzed the test. So what happened was that I have no idea about uh, my weak area specifically and what are the mistakes I am committing. So these two areas I have no idea about. And that's why in the final exam, I committed around 10 silly mistakes. And this actually cost me a lot. You know, my rank was around 549 around like this, but I was expecting a you know top 100 rank. So that's why, you know, don't forget to analyze the mock test as I already mentioned. Try to try to see what are the mistakes you are doing. Try to check what are your weak areas and strong areas and work on that. The next important thing is that don't take the result of mock test too seriously. If you're doing really well, that's a good thing. That's a good sign. Uh, keep the momentum up and see where you are lagging and try to improve it. And it's a great thing that you are doing well in the gate exam. On the other hand, if you're not doing well, for example, then also you don't lose hope. It's just a start of your uh, if you if you prepare and you have just started giving the giving the mock test and probably if you give few more mock tests your efficiency will increase so keep on working on your weak areas see the mistakes that you are doing and try to rectify there are still three months left before the final day so that's why even in the very beginning of your mock test you are not getting good score no need to you know no need to be worried about or no need to be sad about please remember that these mock test score nobody will remember. If you well in the if you do well in the final gate exam, that is something that that everybody will remember. Uh, if you have done really well in the in the mock test, but you, you couldn't do the same thing in the final exam, nobody will remember. On the other hand, for a, for example, there is a candidate who didn't do well in the mock test, but at at the end in the final exam, they do they do well. That will be remembered. So that's why these mock tests take it as question papers and try to you know improve your time management skill or how to deal with the pressure that's it don't take the results of mock test too seriously and there is no scope of self-complacent overconfident at the same time if you're not doing well there is no need to worry about try to improve yourself so yeah that's it about the video if you have any query or question about mock test or related to gate exam let me know in the comment section and if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and share this video to other people who are also preparing for gate exam in different, different streams or department. And if you are new to this particular channel, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get all the notifications regularly. That's it about this video. I'll be in the next video. Until then.